Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 61. Now this week's video is inspired by a conversation I had with one of my year 13 students. We were doing a little bit of work on geometry and I happened to throw into the conversation the fact that you could draw a circle through any three points so long as those three points didn't lie in a straight line. And he'd never heard of this uh, fact before and more than that he didn't believe me. So I got a, got a pair of compasses out uh, and a pencil and a ruler and I constructed one but he still wasn't convinced so I fired up autograph and it seemed to sink in a little bit more. So I I thought it'd be a useful video to do uh, because there's loads of interesting autograph features um, and techniques that are important when doing this construction and also because autograph isn't really well renowned for its ability to do constructions on it um, but you can do all the big ones on the software so let's have a look at it all I've got here is a 2d graph page haven't done anything else um, I'm going to be uh, using lines and points so I don't really want these uh, these axes on there so I'm just going to hover up here to that cross no give that a click no axes don't want this key either so down the bottom right click and get rid of show key I'm in whiteboard mode I'm gonna to have to be very careful of my point selection there so just keep an eye on that and finally I'm going to change my snap settings from 1 to 0.1 because I want a little bit more flexibility right let's chuck three points into the mix so one there one there and let's whiz one down there now can you picture the circle that's going to go through those three points it looks unlikely but you never know uh, so let's first thing highlight these points so that one's been selected if I just right click and go to circle I'll just draw a little circle round of radius 0.2 just to highlight that a bit more uh, click on the graph page to deselect everything same thing here click on that right click circle radius 0.2 and finally click on that right click circle radius 0.2 okay the next thing I need is a line segment so I'm going to select that point and I'm going to select that point they're the only two things selected right click and I'm going to do a line segment now I'm going to do this uh, I'm going to do a perpendicular bisector through this line segment and I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I know the length of this line so if I just go to view and I do status box and I just click on this line it'll tell me the distance distance of 3.4 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle that's just above halfway there so if I click on that point and I right click and I do circle so if I do a circle of radius 2 that should cover halfway and if I do the same thing on the other side I don't really need that status box anymore click on that point just that point selected right click circle radius 2 and this is the old-fashioned way of constructing a perpendicular bisector with a set of compasses and a straight edge two circles where they intersect I need to mark so I'm going to click on point mode now we chatted about this if you hold down control then if you hover over the intersection you can mark it with a point so keep control held down there's my two intersections um, I'm going to just click to deselect everything select one intersection select the other intersection right click and draw a straight line through them and there is my perpendicular bisector to make it clear I'm just going to uh, select that circle and that circle right click and I'm going to hide those objects so there's my perpendicular bisector now to save a bit of time I'm going to cheat here so I'm going to select that point I'm going to select that point I'm going to right click and look at that perpendicular bisector there so I've bisected that as well and now I'm going to mark their intersection by hold, in point mode, holding, that, holding down control, excuse me, and clicking there. Now, there is a, a, a circle theorem, and it's not one of the most well-known ones, that says that if you perpendicular bisect a chord, that line will go exactly through the center of the circle. So I've bisected that chord, and if I bisect that chord as well, then those two should meet in the center of the circle that contains those chords. So now if I select that point, and I select my center point and I right click and I do a circle through two points then you get a circle that goes through all those three points and what's really nice is because um, all these points are kind of independent you can move them around and you can show all the different circles that you can get and there isn't a single circle you can do that sorry a single location of those points that doesn't create a circle unless of course you put them on the same straight line and I think that's a pretty nice activity to do with your students and some nice features of autograph as well hope that was useful I'll be back with a fresh autograph video next week farewell for now bye bye